do you want to become a full stack developer in just 90 days? Then in this video, I will give you a step-by-step -step roadmap using Mern stack, which means MangoDB and ExpressJS, React and Node.js. And in this video, I will tell you exactly how many hours per day you need to study and practice to become a Mern stack developer. And also, I will tell you which type of projects you need to build. By the end of this roadmap, you will be ready to build real world applications and apply for the developer jobs in 2025. So exactly, we have a 90 days to left to complete 2025. So by the end of the 2025, you will become a good full stack developer if you follow this roadmap. So without any further delay, let's get started. The first question, why full stack? Full stack developer can handle both front end like UX designing and the back end like server, APIs and databases. This makes you more valuable because you can build a complete application end to end. The Mern stack is one of the most popular because it will handle MongoDB, which is nothing but no SQL database, easy to scale. And the E for ExpressJS, the backend framework for building the REST APIs. And ReactJS, which is nothing but frontend library for dynamic UA implementations. And Node.js, the JavaScript runtime for the servers. And best part is you only need JavaScript for both frontend and backend in Mernstack. So that's why I have given you the 90 days roadmap for the Mern stack in this video. And if you need any other full stack roadmaps, comment in this video. So without any further delay, let's go to the roadmap overview. When coming to the roadmap overview, I have divided this 90 days into three phases. In phase one, you need to learn about HTML, CSS and JavaScript along with GitHub. And the phase two, you have to learn React.js, Node, Express and MongoDB. And the phase three is completely you need to focus on projects, deployment and advanced concepts. And the recommended time, I will always say to the students that you need to spend at least four to six hours daily. That is two hours. If it is, for example, if you have taken two hours for theory, then two to four hours you need to practice. Why? Because this framework is really important, 1 is to 2 framework. If 2 hours theory is there, 4 hours practice is must. So that we have a less time of 90 days. So per day you need to invest more time. And if you have a more time, for example, if you are planning for 180 days, you can restrict this to the 2 to 3 hours. So it completely depends on how consistently you are practice. So always consistency is the key to become a full stack developer in less time. If you are not consistent, then it will lead to a more time or sometimes you might be end up with the without learning full stack also. So consistency matter. And let's go to the phase wise in detail concepts like in phase one, what are the things you need to learn and in detail. So let's see in phase one. Again, I have divided into week wise in week one. You have to learn HTML and CSS. HTML will give you a semantic structure of the website and CSS fundamentals like selectors, box models, flex box, grids, and this will give you a response design using media queries. And at least build two to three static websites like portfolio or blogging or blog landing page or write some articles. So this type of static pages can be implemented by using HTML and CSS. Hardly it will take one week to complete. And if you want to make the website dynamic, then you need to learn about the JavaScript. So week two is completely for your JavaScript basics. You have to learn about variables like let, constant, on data types and loops like for, while, for, off. And you need to know about the conditional statements and functions, normal functions and arrow functions in data type JavaScript and DOM manipulations and selecting elements and event listeners and updating the styles. You need to build a mini project on them after learning all these things like a counting app or to-do list. You can implement the JavaScript basics. This is the week two planner in the phase one. In week three, you have to learn about JavaScript advanced concepts like ES6 features like template literators and destructuring and spreadsheet sorry, spreader rest 
or modules or asynchronous JS, callbacks, promises, asynchronous awaits, fetch APIs and how to create the JSONs. All these things, advanced concepts you need to learn. And also you have to build a mini project like weather app using open other API. So in this advanced concept, you know how to fetch the APIs and how to implement your projects. And after learning the HTML, CSS and JavaScript basic to advanced, Week 4, you need to learn about Git and GitHub. So, Git and GitHub are representing the version control systems. So, you need to learn the basics of Git init, add, Git commit, Git push, all these type of things and how what is the branching and how to do pull request, uploading the project to the GitHub, all these things you need to know. And practice for 4 to 5 hours daily by the end of this phase 1. You should at least do 3 to 4 mini projects and push them into the GitHub. So this is the phase one you need to complete within the one month. So the tech stack you are learning like HTML, CSS, JavaScript, basic to advanced and GitHub. This is the wow you, right? And let's go to the core moon stack now, which is nothing but phase two you need to learn. This is a very crucial. Why? Because core concepts we are going to learn. And for the first phase one is common for every tech stack. If I say. But from the core MERN, if you want to become a MERN stack, phase two is very crucial. Now comes to the heart of the full stack development that is MERN stack. And week five and six, you need to focus on learn JSX syntax and components, pros, state, and React hooks like use state, use effect, use context, and React rotors for the navigation and controlling the forms and handling the input. So all these things you need to take care for the week five and week six. And also you have to build a mini projects like to-do list, notes app, movie search app, EAPIs and everything. And week seven, you need to take care of the Node.js and Express.js for the backend purpose. And Node basics like FS, Path, HTTP modules and Express frameworks, rotors, middleware, error handling and REST APIs basics like get, post, put, delete, and authentication with JWT, which is nothing but JSON web tokens. And mini projects you need to build uh, by using authentication system. Okay. And also week eight in this phase two, you need to learn about the MangoDB, which is a no SQL database and which is a, a good for scaling purpose. And you need to have a collections, documentation, crude operations in the MangoDB. And MangoDB, ODM, like scheme, schema, modules, queries, like this you need to learn. And the concept of MangoDB, Atlas, Cloud Database with Express, mini projects like, you need to do the mini projects like Blog API with crude operations, right? So these are the very crucial things you need to learn in the phase two. So for the phase two, week five and week six, we are giving to the React.js, one of the very important framework you need to learn. If you master React, you will almost be very good at everything in the Moon stack. And after that, you need to learn about Node.js and Express.js. And after that, you need to learn about MongoDB. So which is nothing but it's like a SQL. Right. So after completion of the phase two, you need to focus on entire one month to build the projects. And in the phase three, at least you need to develop capstone projects, at least three projects and deploy them as well. So for example, I can say build a major projects like e-commerce store or social media clone or OTT clones like Netflix clone or Amazon Prime clone like this. And also task manager to do crude operations with the authentication, right? So do the task manager so that you can get a practice to the crude operations with authentication and social media clones or OTT clones you can do like user login, post, likes, comments, or watch for letter, download options, a lot of things will be there. And e-commerce store like product listing, cart, checkout, and payments. Here also you can include the authentication and all. So last, you have to know about deployment of the projects. You need to know the deployment tools like Verserol, Netify for the React, and Render and Railway for the backend, and environment variables, .env files, and GitHub Actions for CI/CD basics and learn the basics of TypeScript for the better code safety. 
add extra features like image upload payments email verification all these things you need to know as a deployment tools and you know guys i will tell you in order to learn all these things like phase 1 phase 2 phase 3 at least you need to practice for 6 hours per day is better thing if you want to become in 90 days 4 to 6 hours if you want to become in 180 days i suggest 2 to 4 hours if you have a nice bandwidth and you can learn up to 9 months you have a 9 months of bandwidth i suggest 1 to 2 hours per day is enough to become a great moon stack expert and in the conclusion i can say simply so here is the 90 days roadmap phase 1 is simple html css javascript git and github and small projects of 2 to 3 projects and phase 2 react node express and mongodb mini projects plus apis and phase 3 is capstone projects and deployment and portfolio creation so if you follow this road map for 4 to 6 hours per daily you will become a job ready as a full stack moon developer in 2025 by the end of the 2025 now i want to ask you one question what project are you most excited to build first comment below on this video and don't forget to like subscribe and share this video with your friends who want to learn web development keep coding and i will see you guys in the next one thank you so much happy preparation from prepinsta